In today's video, we're opening a secret mystery judge bag. What's up guys, we're back with another epic opening and we have another cool judge opening. I previously opened a judge box that the judges receive for like judging events and stuff like that. You guys can go check that video out. This one's a little different though because that one was actually what the judges received, but this one is actually stuff that my judge friend threw in here that he thought would be a fun mystery opening. So this is for courtesy of a judge. He also threw in a pretty amazing item that I'm gonna show off and he gave me a giveaway for you guys. Me and my friend will be giving away these judge sleeves, the judge man, which are probably the coolest sleeves ever. I mean, look at this little dude. I'm a huge fan of these. Maybe I can win my own giveaway. Probably not, unfortunately. I can't I can't win. You guys are going to have to win it. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what do you think about the items inside, and let's get to it. All right, so the way this thing works is I think it unzips. It's a mystery, so let's just go one at a time. Let's just start off. What in the world is it? Oh. Oh, okay, I think this is actually the big thing. We're gonna save it for the end. All right, next. Okay, I see what we have now. We have, this is definitely this is definitely not a real judge product because it has a monster box. I mean, if Konami started putting these, <laughs> that'd be pretty wild. Okay, monster box. If you guys remember this one, it has the absolutely terrible cover packs. Like, oh, Hidden Arsenal 1. I don't remember, I think there was a couple packs we liked in here, but overall, these are not like super crazy or anything, but mystery box opening. We're gonna start a mystery judge box by opening a mystery box, which is pretty fun. So let's see if we can get something crazy out of here. Is this all booster packs, I think? This doesn't wanna open. Maybe that means there's something good. Okay, I'm just gonna open it like this, actually. This'll work. No need to pull all the cellophane off or anything. You're making these tough to open though. Let's see what's inside. Right off the bat, let's try to get those thick packs because they're actually the worst ones. Yeah, Hidden Arsenal. Let's get those out of the way. It's Hidden Arsenal. Though there are some good Edison cards and I've recently made my Edison box. So if we get anything Edison related, I'm gonna be happy. So that's what I'm looking for. Dust Tornado, that can go in the box. Ally Mine, Strategist, Flamvel, Rocks and Special. Let me know if I miss anything that's Edison related. Oh, I messed it up. We have the Naturia Barkeon. I think that is after Edison's time. Uh, Lava Golem. I mean, technically could play it, but probably not. We have Naturia Cherries and Naturia Hydrangea. So a lot of Naturia stuff. Let's see what else there is. Anything cool that is a common pineapple and butterfly. So no, not really. All right. So one Edison card in there. I can't be mad. Uh, I think there's usually a second pack of that. So let's see. Yep. A second pack. So uh, the mystery, I mean, it is a monster box. They've had some random monster boxes recently. Okay. These are so thick. I'm just going to go through like this a little bit easier. Dust Tornado again. Uh, we have Strategist. We have Shock Trooper. Warlock of the Ice Barrier. Okay. Dragoonity Ducks. Trey Barkion. These are very similar cards. And a Book of Moon. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, Book of Moon. I have a lot of those, but still very cool. Naturia. What a rock. Naturia rock. Okay, we have Dragonfly, Strawberry. It means literally all Naturia. Literally every card. Okay, now let's get to the goods. What's next? Uh, I have a new a newfound excitement now that like any Edison card is a good pull. Here's the problem though, El Dorado. I really don't want any gold rares because they are so hard. You have to double sleeve them to even be usable because you can feel them through the sleeve. So that's not great. Okay, we have a gold rare. I see why. I, I see more and more why people didn't like them when they first came out. Numeron Storm and a Weather Painter Rain. None of that is going to go toward the Edison box, unfortunately. Okay, let's try this. Rising Rampage Unlimited. So no IP Masquerina. That's a bummer. So yeah, it's about as bad as it gets because it like tempts you into thinking, oh, or makes you think that you're going to get something. Ultra Rux is special. Into the Ultra Rare. The Ikelosa Dream Mirror Sprite. Hey, that's a, it's a foil. I mean, that's honestly pretty good. But yeah, it makes you think you're going to get like, oh, I could get Opelosa, but you can't because you can't. Yeah, Opelosa, not IP Masquerade. Opelosa, which I guess getting a secret Opelosa would be pretty amazing too. I guess Chaos Impact is worse because Chaos Impact uh, IP is a lot cheaper for the Ultra Rare. Okay, then you get, ooh, Formula Synchron. That's pretty sweet, actually. I can't remember. Is Formula Synchron, it's D-Rev. Is D-Rev in Edison? Oh, that's, a, that's no, D-Rev's 2011. So this is right after Edison. So no Formula Synchron. Uh, I believe it's D-Rev. I think it's a rare in there, right? So great card, but I mean, it's probably our best pull yet, but that is not gonna go toward the box. Next, we have a Tactical Masters. This is a Collector Rare set. So if we can get a Collector Rare, that'd be great. Let's see if we can do it. Fiend Grieving. I thought they were always at the end on Tactical Masters. Maybe I was opening European. Man, I'm destroying every pack. <laughs> the suspense is just not there for the, I'm sorry guys, I'm ruining it. Okay, uh, more maximum gold Eldorado. Give us some gold rares. Like, I think, are the toads in here? Or is that just regular maximum gold? I think I mean, might be regular maximum gold. 
Oh, Lich, oh, Lich, Gold Lord, Alt Art, very cool. I, speaking of IP Mascarena, we pulled one. That's a good pull. Uh, number 81, and Ultra Geist and Maria Netter. Sure, why not? So many packs in here, it feels like. Okay, 2022, Pot of Prosperity could be in here. That would be pretty cool. Let's see. These are thick packs, so we're going to go like this. We have Arm Dragon Thunder, Rocket Caliber, Rux and Specialing, everything. we got a little spoiler on the Super Rare Denmari. We've got the White Knight of Dogmatica, Dimension Shifter, Branded, Flow Under the Magnificent Map's not bad, and then the Moftia. Okay, now White Baking. <laughs> He's baking and he's white. Okay, I'll be on. Okay, sure. Yeah, no, nothing too crazy. Oh, oh, I forgot about the die. Wait, which die are we gonna get? Wait, what is this? What, what am I looking at here? Why can I not figure? Oh, that's what it is. What is that? It looks like a little sprite on like a video game. I don't know what that is. Uh, hey, I'll take it though. It's, the dice looks nice. It's orange and see through. Power of the elements. Okay. The elements give us power. We need something. Okay. Four from the back should work here. No Ultra Rux and special, I believe. Go D Chain. Come on. We got Car. We got Overfusion. Rux and special. Hydrolander Orbit. We've got A. A. Gearokaisis. We have Crosskeeper. We have Varnasleth. And Grand Tusk Dragon. Okay. Sure. Sure. No big deal. Nothing crazy there. What's next? Oh, yeah. Mystery power box number two. Okay. Mystery power box time. Can we get something crazy? Judge bag special mystery. The mystery judge bag has two mystery boxes in it. It's like a mystery within a mystery. It's crazy. And then there's a mysterious last item. That is a very cool item. I know what it is. So it's not really as much of a mystery for me, but it is for you guys. Okay. All right. Let's start off with the structure deck. This one is going to come first and it is a dark world structure deck. First edition. Very cool dark world structure deck. That is... Awesome. Very, it's a, it's a new one, but it's very cool. It's Dark World. Let's see what the next thing's gonna be. Let's take out the blister because it's just very big. Dimension Force First Edition. Okay, I like it. Dipho or Lifo or Fifo. Which one? First Edition. Only you accountant people will get that. All right. One, two, three, four, maybe? Let's try. Okay, let's get a uh, Starlight Rare. I've never pulled the Ghost Ogre. I'm just saying. Speaking of Starlight Rares, I do have some available on Ruxin34.com, PSA 10. Some of those from that collection a couple weeks ago. Check that video out if you didn't see it. Uh, there are some available right now. And as well as other stuff, I've added some sealed items and stuff like that. And some singles from the most recent set on my uh, website, Ruxin34.com. Those might be sold out by now. We'll see. Symphonic Warrior and Odd Eyes Wing Dragon. Okay. Wing Dragon. Guardian of the Fortress. Oh, why does it feel like there's so many packs in here? Oh, no, that's a that's a pack of sleeves. Oh, what, which ones are these? Ooh. Albaz Ecclesia Tri Brigade sleeves. That's pretty nice. I like sleeves. I have an entire box just filled with sealed sleeves because I have so many. Thanks to Magnificent Mavens, I've been way ahead on sleeves ever since then. Okay, Cybernetic Horizon. Okay, really? Cybernetic Horizon? That's what you're going to throw at us, Mystery Box? One, two. I'm going to do three because I think it's three. Maybe the flippity flop, but we'll see. Toddler of Torment. Creepy. Uh, it's definitely terrifying. Divine Serpent. Divine Serpent. Look at this. Divine Serpent. I don't even know how you say that. Geh. Divine Servant. Geh. All right. Zero extra link. Like, what does that even mean? Vanguard. Goki Ring Trainer. Dealer's Choice. Crusadia Magius. So it looks like it is four from the back. You want to get the ring. I guess you could flip those. It's like a mole thing. What is that? Okay. All right. Sure. We have a couple packs left. Let's try this one. Secrets of Eternity. Farfuzz in here. Okay. Let's see what we can pull. This is a weird opening. There's been some weird packs. Okay. Three from the back will work. We have the Soul Strike. This is a 2015 set. So we're talking almost 10 years old on Secrets of Eternity, which is crazy. It's in Mayday. We have Partnaga. Spirit of the Samurai, Soul Beans, Raid Raptor, Rise Falcon, Unizombie. Great zombie card. Infernoid, Sightsimus. Frontline Observer and ooh, National Fusion Secret Rare. All right. It's our best pull so far. I mean, in terms of money, I don't really know, but definitely highest rarity. Well, not highest of that set, but highest rarity we have pulled. Okay, two left. Good pulls. I mean, good-ish pulls. You know, not terrible. Dark Saviors. Okay, I'm looking for Armageddon Knight in here. That's it. That's an Edison card. Let's go. Okay, Curry Bandit. We have Kagari. Nice. Uh, arrow area zero. Stop giving me sky strikers. Rhoda, Edison guard, and we've got the jamming waves. Okay, sky striker stuff. Last pack I think from this mystery box. Ooh, the old school invasion of chaos. Is there any Edison cards in invasion of chaos? I mean, technically you could play like chaos sork or something like that. Uh, not chaos number, not BLS. J is dimension fusion banned? I'm guessing it's banned by then, right? Surely, dimension fusion. It's got to be. 
I don't really remember though. Okay, Sacred Crane. Feel the pain. We have Chaos Greed. We have Multiplication of Ants. Boganian. Sylphid. Pinch Hopper. The Hopper. It's pinching. Robin Zombie. Not Robin Goblin. And Sea Serpent. Warrior of Darkness. A warrior who defends the world of the Sea of Darkness. He prides himself on his fighting prowess, both on the ground and, of course, in the water. All right, that leaves us with one final thing. It's in this clipboard thing. I'll see if I can open this up. Let me just pull this out. This has like judge. This has like people's info for for judging in it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that off screen. Okay, here's the secret item coming last, and then there are some Phantom Darkness Korean packs. Looks like we're going for that Dark Arm Dragon. Speaking of Edison, uh, Armageddon Nightway. Is there a pull tab on Korean packs? Probably not, because they cost like a cent a piece or whatever. You know, they're like, they reprinted them all and they're like really cheap. At least they were. I haven't checked them since 20 and like 20. So it's been a while. Maybe they might not be cheap anymore. Okay, let's check these Korean packs. Let's see if we can get something crazy like the Dark Arm Dragon. We'll put that in the Edison Edison box as well. If we can do it, if we can pull it off. I mean, there's a lot of good cards in Dark in Phantom Darkness. There's only a couple years before that came out before Edison happened. So, and the, the thing with Korean though, is like you get the same ratio number wise out of the box, but there's so many packs, there's 40 packs instead of 24, can't open this. And you only get six or seven foils that like, it's very hard to actually pull a foil. Let's see, okay, some Gladiator stuff, Gladiator Beast and Doll, the best Gladiator Beast out there. The big reveal's coming at the end from the Judge opening. It's actually a pretty cool item. And by pretty cool, I mean like, very cool item. I, you guys will know it. I told you guys about it. I may or may not have forgotten to get one myself. We have the ooh Rainbow Neos and the Cyber Dragon Ouroboros. Rainbow Neos, Korean. Very, very cool. We have Ghostshare. Can you even get Ghostshare in Korean packs? I'm not sure. What is this? Some sort of Ha Dez card. That's actually really cool. I don't remember that one from Phantom Darkness because I have not opened as much Phantom Darkness as like most other sets because it's so hard to get even in Unlimited. But look, we're getting Light of Destruction reprinted. I wouldn't be surprised. There's you, Bill, if we got it reprinted. Who even knows at this point what they're going to reprint? So could be pretty cool. We could be opening up cases of Phantom Darkness soon at some point. Maybe we'll get that one because they got Light of Destruction. The European side of things got the Light of Destruction and they'll get a structure deck. We got the... Another card I don't recognize. I don't know the supers in Phantom Darkness, apparently. So two supers, one ultra. I know they have ultis, but I don't think they have ghosts. I'm trying to think to, if I've ever seen a Korean ghost for the reprints. I don't think I have, so I'm guessing they don't, but maybe they do. They do. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer to open this stuff up for cheap. And just having the ultis is really cool. We have the, okay, whatever that is. Last pack. What shall we pull then? It is... All right. Oh, that's a really cool artwork, actually. Is that Gazelle versus Avian? Or is that Chimera? Or is that, what, what is that, Chimera Tech? Wait, no, what did they fuse into? I can't remember. Chimera Tech, that sounds like a robot, but that seems right. I don't know. I can't remember. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's reveal the final item. Here we go. Have you guessed it yet? Let's see. The Black Luster Soldier. So if you guys remember, I made a video telling you guys, hey, you don't have to actually buy these God cards for $400 to actually get it. All you have to do is send in an envelope. Well, guess what? A bunch of you guys did that, including this guy, and got it completely for free. And now this card is worth hundreds of dollars. So uh, I gave you guys hundreds of dollars. So make sure you thank me by subscribing to the channel and liking this video. That's all you gotta do. Just, I mean, just enjoy your awesome card. This is a really sweet card. I'm really kicking myself because I told you guys to do it. I didn't do it because I start. I moved like right then and I was like, I know I'm going to forget. And guess what? I did forget because if I don't do stuff right away or make notes of it or anything, I definitely forget to do it. And that's what happened. So Blackluster Soldier, this card looks so cool. Apparently, a lot of them have corner issues uh, right out of the whatever you call it, the factory. So it actually looks pretty good. From what I'm looking at this one, I'm not OK. Maybe there are maybe the top corners aren't great, but Honestly, pretty good. Centering's not terrible. Very awesome. I mean, that is such a sweet card. Glad I got to show it off as well because, you know, I didn't get one. You know, I <laughs> forgot to do it. So very awesome. This judge bag was super fun. Shout out to my judge friend and all the judges out there who do judge Yu-Gi-Oh! events because without you guys, we couldn't do it. This was a lot of fun. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Anessa Deanda, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Changalang, Adelso Garcia Jr., and Edwin K. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.